if you come out and you actually you physically come out and just come into one of these things you're gonna you might change your mind what is going on good people thank you guys for stopping by my channel pay yourself back i'm your host c los and here on my channel guys it's always about having fun and enjoying life and being spiritually well at the same time so we're in another one of my favorite places guys we're in port st lucie future home hint hint i don't know yet guys but uh we're here at la mesa rv and this place is incredible guys um they have an indoor portion of huge warehouse with rvs and they also have an outdoor portion we're going to start on the indoor portion just looking around now the goal today is just to look i want to kind of see how i fit being that i'm a taller guy um see how i fit in them we're not looking to purchase anything today but i just wanted to kind of show you guys um in my honest opinion florida has a you you really don't even have to leave the state of florida guys if you have a motorhome or travel trailer uh because there's so much to see here and there's there's tons and tons and tons of different um parks for rvs and travel trailers and things like that and so we came up from the fort lauderdale hollywood area guys in case you didn't know which is about 98 miles and um yeah so i just wanted to take a look and see see what it is i mean you know i mean here's my thing this is what i this is what i kind of figured out you live in florida uh you either got to have some toys you either got to have a boat jet skis kayak or an rv you got to have one of one of those so we're going to see we're going to look around and see exactly what uh being an rv as you can see i'm in a i'm in a big fifth wheel right now i'm not looking to buy a fifth wheel of course i don't have my truck is not uh fifth wheel capable I'm, i have a 1500 and so um it's not going to pull this fifth wheel but we're, i'm in it right now and as you can see it is really really nice in here i mean and the price is nice this is a used rv or uh, travel trailer by the way but anyway guys enough with that let's go and check out some of these rvs see you in a minute get rid of your friend though if you want to ride in the benzo so this is uh from my understanding 24r i guess that's the the length correct me if i'm wrong guys in the comment 24 plus another couple of feet i guess but uh yeah whoa now you can tell you can tell the the to me in my opinion so far you can tell the difference in the quality with the mercedes yeah 126 on that one your cooktop two burners this glass top right here is pretty pretty cool uh yeah see that's another thing see with this to something like this I, I mean i think i might fit Oh, that's from your baby. It's, 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 it's tight. It's tight in here. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, it's tight. I mean, you, if you pull the, I mean, if you pull this back, see my head is already, I mean, I guess, but yeah, you ain't gonna be able to do much, but it's, it's okay. Plenty of headroom up here. Plenty headroom. Five. This is a this, this is used though. Right? Yeah, but this is I don't know what year it is. Oh yeah. Now we're just looking at class C's right now. We're just we're just here, huh? Guys, I'm excited. I don't know why I'm excited. We're not buying nothing today, but I'm still just excited because I know 
there's a possibility, a real good possibility in the near future that we may end up owning one of these here. Not, not a class C, but a travel trailer. We haven't got to the travel trailers yet, but we're on our way, just kind of browsing right now. I'm gonna take a look over here. I like this. Nice. Beautiful, look out. It's even, it's even cool, it's cold, it's cold in there. Even at a used, this is a 2018 right here, and even used for $90,000. But this thing is huge. This is a 30 footer, but it's, it's really nice. I don't too much like this type of paneling right here, to be honest with you. I don't like that, that type of paneling, but so you got your speakers up there. Mini fridge. You got your stove right here. That's all pulls out, but I'm not gonna pull it out. Dual axles, which is obviously you need that for a 30 footer trailer this long. Uh, let's take a look inside. And I like the LED lighting underneath. I like that, that's a really cool touch right there as well as up top. And your awning, yeah. You got one slide out. This is, this is, this is cool right here. What do you think? You, you ain't smiling too much. <laughs> Jenna, they, she ain't smiling too much on I mean, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 I mean. Yes, yes. You, you got your, you know, you got your counter, your countertop here, which again is very important. I think here you got your yeah, glass. Yeah, it's not bad in there. Now the shower test. Yeah, it's not bad. Gotcha. Pull your curtain here. It's not bad. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't have a, 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 a actual queen bed or king. It just has bunk, so this wouldn't work for us. No, no, no. I lied. No, you don't. Hey, it's up here. So you have your master bedroom. Yeah, that's what I say. You have your master bed. And then you have bunk beds. That's actually nice. You have a you have a door here, which is very, very convenient. Very nice. Again, let's see if I fit. And what do you know? I fit. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, where you at? There, but see this, you got your privacy door here. So this basically, yeah, you close it. That's your living room area up there. And then your bedroom obviously is back here. So you got dual, dual in, two entrances, one in the front and one in the rear. <laughs> you see her face, uh, she don't like it. Miss Janet don't approve. I mean, even with the travel trailers, I mean, they, they, you, 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 we're starting to see now, I mean, actually being here in person that they're not, they're not, I mean, they probably have some that uh, are more of uh, on par with the class A's and the class, well, no, I'm gonna say class A, class C's, but you're starting to see that uh, at this price point right here, $29,000, $30,000. Um, so, so I tell you what, Let's do this. Let's just look at a class A 2021 301 569. Let's just look at it just to just just to dream a little bit, just to kind of show you guys. I mean, I already know that this thing here is 
laid plush. Let's, let's, just, let's just look at it, just, just for the heck of it. 40M, it's crazy, huh? I already know. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Could you live in this? Now, I could live in this. We could live in this. <laughs> see, I see you smiling over there. Yeah. Um, maybe. <laughs> two toilets. Two, two toilets. Let me step back a little bit so you guys can really see this bathroom, man. And this is the second bathroom, right? Wow. Have your washer and dryer. <laughs> Uh, dryer up top, washer down blue. <laughs> More storage. Mm -hmm. Thirty-one footer right here. Hey, Hi. how is it going? Hi. Uh, no problem. They Say again? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Those 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 jokers are they're yeah. way grown. How grown are they? No. <laughs> yeah, the oldest <laughs> is uh she's going to be twenty. Kids in the twenties. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. The youngest yeah. in the navy. Yeah, he's oh, in Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. How many kids do you have? Three. Three. Oh wow, that's yeah. awesome. Now. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, because this is bunkhouse, so you probably don't need that. Yeah, we were just talking. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Um, the bunkhouses are a little bit more, huh? I'm, I'm starting to notice. Uh, price wise. Price wise, yeah. Yeah, um, well, they're usually a little longer. That's why. I mean, they do they do have them in like smaller units too. Um, okay. So it's usually the longer ones, the bigger ones, with a little bit more money. So. I see. Yeah. Okay. And you know, it's um, if you have kids, they're really desirable. But um, you know, if you don't have kids, the only other way that they function is is storage. As we want to say, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you see. Here at, one thing I can say here at La Mesa RV, they're super friendly, super friendly. And I appreciate that. They make you feel like, you know, like you're really, you know, the customer service is great, make you feel like you're at home. So I like that and I appreciate it. And guys, the way that I am, the customer service will determine whether or not I make a purchase. And I think that's, that's generally true for everybody. Um, if the customer service, no matter what the product, how great the product is, if the customer service is bad, then more than likely I'll never come back. But so far the customer service is outstanding. From the time that we got stepped foot in the door, we were greeted and we were just treated like first class. Look at, look, <laughs> look at Janet. Oh. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Jayco, 360 horsepower Cummings. I'm assuming Freightliner, diesel engine. We're just gonna go in just to look. 37L. <laughs> Who I have arrived. Look at this thing here. I mean, just look at the attention. Oh, that has the bunk beds over there too. Look, look at the attention to detail, the cabinetry. I mean, you got a little backsplash. And the most important thing, I guess, one of the most important things is having counter space to 
like cut up your veggies and stuff like that. Look at the TV. That looks like it's probably about a 55 inch. Yeah, looks like the TV I have in, in our apartment. It's got a washer and dryer. Oh, it's got a washer, but still. Look at this, man. This is crazy. <laughs> your bedroom. Shazam! <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, all in one. No. Mm. I don't know. When you don't wash, you can just dry it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Man, ain't that something. The bathroom is clean. Full size refrigerator. <sighs> ain't that crazy? One eighty nine ninety one eighty nine 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 eight. Big bowler, shot cola. All right, guys. So I just want to say I am totally impressed with La Mesa RV. I really want to thank Jen. I mean, she was very hospitable. Um, she went out of her way to make us feel at home here at La Mesa RV, and I just want to give a special thanks to her. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I drop a video. I think we're going to boogie, wiggy, wiggy on down the road on 98 miles back down to South Florida. So, until next time, be well, my friend. Celos out, baby. <laughs>